Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? This your boy, Proxus, and I'm back with another video. Check this out. This is not live commentary. I want you guys to watch this fight because I feel this is everything wrong with Undisputed as far as ranked in one fight. And I want you guys to watch this all the way through so you understand. As you can see here, Canelo Alvarez being hella aggressive. You can see he's throwing straight. He's throwing some uppercuts to the body. Then a hook up top, hook up top, hook up top, hook up top. You can see there, I try to counter that. Those two rear body uppercuts. And I want you guys just to pay close attention to this guy. He's His record is something in one. He's only lost one match. And you're about to find out why. I mean, we all know why. But his record, if you looked at his record, like overall, the raw record, you're like, dang, okay, this is kind of good. But then you start watching him play and you're like, okay, cool. But then you have the boxing enthusiasts that, you know, be like, well, in boxing, you can do this to combat that. You know, but it comes to a point where things are broken and no matter how realistic you want to try to make it out to be with someone spamming one punch or two punches, or I'll say two punches as one because I'll count body up because that's the same, both hands, some things are just flat out broken, right? Now you can see here, I'm fighting slow pace. Uh, and this is something that I've been trying to do against people that are spammers because I've been having some success for you on the scorecards. Instead of me just brawling and, and getting in the pocket and throwing with them, I wait and I try to pick my shots more, so to say, instead of just straight up brawling, as you see here. Now you can see I'm making a miss, trying to make them pay, um, attacking them to the bottom, doing everything you can see here. By the way, I did jump in into round two because I just wanted to show you guys this is what, you know, this is what ranked is, un undisputed. Um, and I'm not trying to be someone to sit here and consistently complain about it, but if if this is what top players is, this is a representation of what a top player is in Undisputed. I think we have a problem when it comes to a game being realistic. That is my issue when it comes to this. It's not about it's not about winning. It's not about losing. It's about the execution and what the players are doing in order to become successful and climb leaderboards. Are you actually showing? boxing iq and again this is game is sold as a simulation of boxing so that is where i hold it at i hold this game at a standard of simulation boxing because that's what it was sold at just like if it was ea sports again as i said before i i, I hold them to auto credentials and i know a lot of y'all like probably you you keep on complaining i want you guys to really see it though i want y'all to really see it. it this honestly has kind of ruined the ranked experience for a lot of players, I mean, you, you've watched people, I mean, a lot of people don't even stream that much now. Uh, we're all waiting on a fix, and again, I am patient. I'm probably the most patient, and I probably have played the most of this game out of uh, a lot of people. I'll Definitely some people that I'll play, man, there's people still streaming this game 12, 13 hours a day, you know, so salute to them. But, um, by the way, you guys can see my name on my account. It's, I changed it to Poseidon, so if you run into Poseidon, that's me. I'm not... I'm not even hiding, trying to be on second accounts anymore. I'm just playing on my main, uh, trying to get this account to Undisputed. It is plat too, but if you guys are paying attention to the gameplay instead of me, you'll see exactly what this guy is doing. I mean, wait till you see the after the fight stats. It's kind of ridiculous. But you can see here, boom. I'm just trying to fight from the outside. I know he's throwing a hook, so I'm just trying to hold my guard and back up. I, I countered. I, counter there but then when he lands on me i see he fatigued a little bit with the arm fatigue so i try to go forward to throw something i do miss okay also he's in loose footwork boom i hit him with a counter left foot there and you see he's throwing body uppercuts mm, try to smack him with a power crawl power hook also i'm not sure if undisputed developers will watch this video or are aware of this issue but basically um when you throw a power a power shot it's like your stamina drains all the way down. I'm not sure if that's something that was intended to be done, but the stamina drain, I'm talking about it goes all the way down. And this is what I was talking about. You guys didn't see round one, and you now have seen round two. But you can see I'm fighting at a, a, a much slower pace than usual. I'm not brawling with these guys. And try this in your matches as well. I haven't went loose footwork at all either. Not, I believe I do in this fight, but... Try to send you guys matches. Instead of brawling with the guy throwing four or five pieces, try to always land one or two. Don't get me wrong. You can throw combos, but try to more so land clean and efficiently. And I feel like that may weigh much more heavier than the volume, but I still need more studies and more testing of this theory in ranked. Um, honestly, I've been grinding out ranked. If you guys don't know, I have 
two accounts in undisputed ranking and this account here is going to be an undisputed ranking whenever I actually gain the patience to just straight up grind out rank because right now I play a match or I play two and I'm and I'm up out of there honestly I'm being completely I play a match or play two and, and I'm off of ranked um can be a bit draining I'm not even upset with long matches look at there goes the body uppercuts I'm not upset with long matches. I understand boxing. I, I like the long matches. Personally, I'd rather outplay you for 12 rounds than to knock you out in one. Yeah, it's cool to get a finish. Get the finishes early. But I like to really get in that boxing and that mindset of boxing and trying to outbox you. Obviously, this isn't realistic. This isn't real life. But the game, again, is so this realism. So I try to implement that. And I haven't boxed a day in my life. And, and not to, like, brag on myself, but people ask me, like, Yo, do you do boxing in real life? Because it's like I, I kind of break these things down, but I'm not. It's kind of like a coach, but they don't really, they can they can speak on the game, right? They can speak on it and understand it, but they can't execute it, you know? It's two different things mentally and then physically. You can mentally see the game, understand how to, how to do certain things, but some fighters are better as coaches or some people are better as coaches and some people are better as fighters than as a coach i mean there's fighters in the ufc you can think about right now like oh yeah he he's a hell of a fighter or in boxing he's a hell of a fighter but coaching nah he wouldn't be able to be a good coach because coaches it's a different level a good coach is a different level they see things that you don't see but all in all man i'm just trying to execute my game plan here fight slow pace attack his body and work from there Sugar Ray Leonard has really good footwork, really good, uh, really good speed, really good speed. You can see here, this Canelo, it seems he's getting frustrated. I mean, he, he was frustrated round one, honestly, because I wasn't fighting. I wasn't brawling with him as if that was, you know, the smart thing to do. But you see he's throwing hooks, hooks, hooks again. And he's kind of went away from the body uppercut things. He's now throwing hooks, hooks up top, and he's just walking forward. Boom, counter, counter. I threw three punches there to the, all to the body. Okay, nice. Mm, nice counter by him with the left hook. Boom, counter jab. Throw across. I believe he blocked that one, even though it looked like his head jerked back. I believe he blocked that. I could be wrong, though. Try to counter him there. He throws double cross. Boom, I go lead hook to the body. As you can see, he just wants to sit in the pocket with me. He just wants to sit in the pocket with me, and I, and I, I won't allow myself to sit in the pocket with Canelo Alvarez. The dude is a tank. On top of that, this dude is winging hooks, and he's winging those uppercuts to the body. But he isn't. He's kind of slowed down on them now. He's more so just spamming hooks up top. And again, this record, his record would, would indicate a good player, but what he's doing is like, doesn't really show that he's a good player. You know what I mean? My block is completely gone. Now I can tack here. He got the arm fatigue. But okay, boom, hit him with another counter left hook. And you can see I'm trying to protect my right side. The right side of my face there as I was blocking. Boom, left hook cracked him. There he goes. Look at him. <laughs> Man is literally going hook, 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 hook. Boom, cracked him there. Oh, that's the end of the round. I'm not even paying attention to the round, so if you guys are, be sure to, uh, I mean, be sure to do nothing. You can't do anything, bro. It's a video. Here we go. What is this, round six? Okay. Boom. Left hook. And it gets to a point where I'm like, okay, I can keep throwing, keep landing this left hook. There he goes with the hooks. Hook. 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 Cross to the body. Cross to the body again. Then he goes hook, hooks. And he's really just throwing hooks only. I mean, he kind of like a, uh, I'm going to say a robot. He's just doing the same thing over and over again. This doesn't work. Okay, let's switch from program one to program two. Kind of like another uh, player that I played against. I ain't going to say no names, but y'all know who I'm talking about. But he's just throwing hooks. He goes from channel one hooks. Maybe, well, channel one was body uppercuts. Now channel two is just hooks up top. That goes to uppercuts back to channel one. It's like a robot, bro. It's literally like a robot. But right now, there he goes. There, back to the body up because he's probably going to go back to the because he was a bit successful there. Okay, nope, he does it. Goes to the hooks, hook, hook. Counter with your back up with the crawl jab. Then he goes hooks again. Hook again, nice. My block is almost about gone. 
And I'm trying to sway away from the hooks, but they're still they're still catching me. And also, I'm, I'm trying to keep it on the outside. Ooh, I threw a lee, a lee hook followed by the cross and a lee hook again. I believe a lee hook landed, the cross landed, but that last one didn't land. You can see here, boom. Now, I'm, I'm landing these lee hooks, and, and let me see if I, boom, throw a power lee hook. He's just throwing them. Just throwing them damn things. Left hook, right hook, left hook, right hook. Boom, nice cross. Okay. Boom, catch him right there. Look at him. Look at him. And that's going to, what was that, round six? I believe that was round six. So we get the scorecards here. Look, this is what I'm talking about. I won every round besides that last one. So I'm like, okay, what I'm doing is working. So don't stop. If, you win, if you're winning on the scorecards, understand how you're winning and keep doing that. If your opponent is doing the same thing and you're doing the same thing, how can you lose? How can you lose if, if you know, if you've been successful after three rounds and now after six rounds, he's won one and I've won five. So I'm like, okay, keep doing the same thing. Slow paced and uh, try to attack efficiently versus this guy while he wings the hooks. Boom, nice counter. Another left hook landed. Two left hooks landed. Boom, another left hook. And now I'm like, okay, he's eating this many left hooks. I need to keep, boom, there it goes. There it goes. I'm like, okay, he keeps throwing these left hooks. That's just opening up the the, uh, the opportunity for me to, mm, drop them. I think. Yeah, I dropped him. It opens up the opportunity for me to possibly get a rock. As you see there, I do get the rock, and I get a knockdown as well. Which now makes the fight even even harder for this man. The fight is even harder for him. So here we go, man. Now, I assume he's going to probably go, like, go berserk and just start really walking forward and going crazy. Boom! Try to land the left hook. I missed. Okay. Nice power cross. He's on the uppercuts again. Okay. Ooh. I almost, I almost got caught by that lead hook. And if I did, that would be an opportunity where I feel like a flash KO should, should, could, has, should happen. Or it is a high probability. Because if you are lunging into a shot. Don't get me wrong. If you're standing there and you eat a shot, it's one thing. If you literally like lunge... Or you step into a shot. I mean, in my opinion, I definitely think it should do a lot of damage. Look at him. Now I'm kind of brawling with him. Okay, proud. What are you doing? Oh, okay. It's the end of the round. Cool. I was like, bro, what, what am I doing? I'm looking stupid. I'm, I'm about to get rocked or, or knocked down. <laughs> but you can see that right side of my head is hurting. We go round eight. Boom. Nice left hook. Boom, left hook again. I'm like, okay, play with it. I know, you know, you got to add up the damage with the bars on the left side, right side, or the center of the head or the body. So I'm like, okay, I'll keep hitting this left hook, which is going to be Canelo's right side of his head. Nice. You can see here, he's much more aggressive. Ooh, left hook landed clean. And also, if you guys didn't know, your opponent does take more damage if they have lower stamina. Um, if their stamina is much lower, they take a lot of damage. I will, I will admit that if your opponent gets hit, like while their stamina is like all the way like down, especially with power punches, oh, like they probably have like this much health left. Basically, if you land two power hooks or power just power shots in a row, you can really get a rock easy. As you see, that open up with a little bit of a longer combination because he uh he overthrew and he stood there. His stamina was probably low. Ooh, hook up top, cross the body, hook up top. That was disgusting. Look at we got him taunting. Imagine getting hit with a three-piece combo and you taunt. But yeah, there he goes. There goes the hooks. Uppercuts to the body. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. He's eating the left hooks again. Right hook. I missed it though. He goes double uppercuts to the body. I back step, follow up with a uh, jab. Okay. Look at him. There he goes. The hooks again. Hook. 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 It's just, it's just disgusting. It's just disgusting. Left hook landed clean as a counter. Boom. Left hook again. Rocked him. Here we go. Here we go. Body. Body. Uppercut. I mean body. Body. Hook. Hook. 
Oh my goodness, that's the end of the round. You see, I went body, body, then up top two times. That was nasty. Here we go, round nine. Round nine. And back to doing the spam. But here's one of the big things, in my opinion, that I think should happen. If I, like, the problem is these guys are allowed to do this for too long and get countered too much. Like, um, he shouldn't be allowed to eat this many counters when he's fighting this stupid. I understand Canelo got a hell of a chin, never been knocked down in boxing. I understand, but th this is a video game. Right? It's a video game. Canelo in real life ain't eating this many counters. He hasn't eaten this many counters. After the fight, we'll see how many counters I landed on top of that. Just, just Canelo doesn't wing hooks like he's winging them, right? Look at that. Canelo wasn't just winging hooks like that. Like, huh, 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 hooks. Up because to the body. Boom, left hook landed again. Power cross landed, I believe. I'm going to circle out. Nice. Oh, left hook rocked him. Go to the body, go to the body, go back up top. Okay, let's cut him off. As you see there, I cut him off. Cut him off, boom. Go to the body again. Hook up top. Go back to the body. Cool. I didn't get the drop. I didn't get the... Uh... Yeah, I didn't get the drop, so I'm okay with it. I do know if he keeps playing, he's going to get left hooked again. Boom. Throw a nice little longer combination there. It hurt. It hurt. It definitely hurt. There he goes back with the hooks. Okay. You see, I'm circling, trying to circle him and uh, land that power. Well, not the power, but just the lead hook up top to his chin because that right side of his head has to be hurting. Okay. Boom. Boom, left hook again. Jab. Left hook. Mm. Come on, probably. What are we doing? Boom. Good round. There he goes with the hooks again. Then body uppercuts. What was that, three or four? I taunted at the end. Just just because. I did a little taunt at the end. I'm at 40% health, too. Here we go. The man only won round round. Round six. Boom. Started the round off with a nice left hook counter. Boom. Another left hook counter. Tried to throw a power left hook, but he countered the hell out of me there. Okay. Power cross to the body. Mm. You can see that I'm, tra I'm trading a little bit Because I know it ain't gonna take too much To get this dude up out of here Boom Power cross Backing up Triple jab Backing up Just trying to get the hell out of the pocket Because he's kind of like Keeping me in the pocket Because once you get so a certain distance in the pocket It kind of like a, a sticky effect And um I'm trying to get away from that. That's why I threw the triple jazz moving backwards because he's, one, I'm trying to counter him. Two, I'm trying to just not just straight up walk backwards. And three, again, that sticky effects. So I'm trying to get away from it because this dude just, oh, wee, caught him clean. Go to the body. Go back to the body. Double jab up top. I try to cut him off here. Cut him off. Boom. Power hook to the body. Boom. Boom. Nice combination after the counter. Double jab. As you can see here, I didn't even touch loose footwork. One, two, nice. One again, lead hook, jab again, rear hook, power cross. Oh, my goodness. That, that, like, boom. Okay. Show me some. Boom, boom, boom. 11 seconds left in the round. Boom. Five seconds. Four. Three. Okay. We're going to let the round ride off. I ain't going to do the rest of the countdown. We're going to let the ride round off. Okay. Here we go. Round 11. Round 11. We've got one knockdown. We've gotten about, what, two rocks? Three rocks, I think, actually. You see here. Back to throwing the hooks. Okay. And now I should, honestly, I shouldn't be on, like, run mode, but I should be very cautious. Like, I shouldn't. Oh, rocked him again. Body. Okay. Walk forward. Body. Up top. Body. Body. And right there, look at the top of the screen. Do you see that connection thing? That means that he done the glitch. He basically, the game, the game did not show that bar 
one time this whole match indicating that the, the connection was low but the second i got that rock and i got that drop it popped up right before i got the drop he basically instantly did it and boom he's gone now what happens is i'm not sure if he gets a win but he doesn't get a loss and i get the win but look at the look at this completely dominated this man completely dominated him and this is what i wanted to show you guys right here 21 wins one loss on this account it's what 30 it would be 30 wins well actually no i'm not sure where it's at now it's 29 and 7 and 2 but look at this efficiency was terrible he threw eight jabs he threw 57 crosses he threw 639 hooks and 181 uppercuts now i did throw a good amount of hooks i will admit that with 217 but 639 is crazy look at this 92 to 26 counters that's ridiculous <laughs> that's ridiculous and that's that's in my opinion everything wrong with undisputed top ranked players in the game with the current state of the game but hey um i will complain about these things until these things are fixed because i do want a realistic fighting game a game that takes more iq as i complain to ufc4 i hold no punches and i am not biased towards one company okay but i'm gonna get up out of here i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did be sure to leave a like on it if you're new to the channel subscribe up turn on post notifications because it really helps out the channel and uh let you guys know whenever i go live or whenever i upload videos like this but with that being said y'all stay up y'all stay blessed keep moving forward and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one all right see ya